Hello everyone and welcome. You know, I've done reviews of several multimeters in the past, but today I bring you a different type of multimeter. This is a bench type multimeter for the serious folks out there. This multimeter is in the style of the bench top meters of yesteryear, but with all the convenient features of modern devices. This little guy right here has the ability to test voltage, resistance, capacitance, and diodes just like any other normal multimeter. But it also has a large and easy to read display, plus audible readout, temperature display, and a built-in clock. Plus, it also has a music player, among many other great features. So if you're looking for a really full-featured multimeter, or if you have a friend or family member that really would like this as a gift for the holidays, keep watching as we go into more detail and testing on this little guy right here. So let's open this puppy up and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, here's a shot of the box for you. Let's open this guy up and see how it performs. Alright guys, when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the mini digital desktop multimeter from Zotec, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this unit retails for $94.99. So what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the unit itself, you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to get it set up, take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. I suggest you read through it. You also get a USB cable for powering this guy up because it is battery operated, as I'll talk about in a moment. You also get a couple of test leads, which are really quite long. They're four feet long, so that gives you quite a bit of space to be able to work with those guys. This unit comes with a one-year warranty, and the dimensions on this guy are really quite compact. You're looking at 8 inches by 4 inches by 5 inches, which is really quite small for a powerful unit like this. The screen size on this guy, the main screen, is 4.3 inches by 1.5 inches. You see it has a secondary screen over here that I'll talk about in a moment. This desktop multimeter can test AC and DC current, AC and DC voltage, resistance, continuity, diode, capacitance, frequency, and many more things. This unit has a high accuracy sampling rate of 3 times per second, gives you 4.5 digit display, and 19,999 counts. It also has data hold, maximum and minimum hold, relative value measurement, and more. It has a convenient adjustable backlit display for easy viewing, and it has full button mode selection right up here at the top, instead of a rotary dial making it easier for you to select the mode you want to by just pushing a button. This unit is powered by two replaceable lithium-ion 18650 batteries, so any trouble down the road, you just open the lid on the back, replace the batteries, and keep on going. This unit has two screens, as you can see. The main screen is for the measurement values, and the second screen is for time, temperature, power, volume, etc. It does have a smartphone app for viewing your data remotely, saving data, playing music, etc. One great feature of this unit has is an audible readout broadcasting. If you can't see the screen from your location, if you're working on something that's really large and you're away from the unit, it can tell you audibly what the measurement rate is. This unit also has a built-in power isolation module to protect the user when working on high voltage. It has a 550 volt anti-burn protection. It's compatible with CAT3 to 1000 volts and CAT4 to 600 volts. So this unit is really great for using it in a laboratory, repair shop, electronics factory, electronics testing facility, auto repair, hobbyist, home use, or just about any situation. It's very versatile, user friendly, and easy to use, and it has more features than what I can cover today. So let's do a little testing with this guy and see how it performs. All right guys, so here we are looking at the unit on the bench right now, and that way you can get a little closer look at it. And you see that it's very compact, but very convenient to have it if you're doing a lot of testing, doing a lot of equipment right here on the bench or something. Very convenient to have a unit right there next to you, instead of a portable one which is harder to stand up and so forth. This one stands up very conveniently, nice large display. Big one here in the main screen, over here you have your clock and so forth. And this dial, you turn it to adjust the volume on either the uh, call-out display, the broadcasting for the readouts and so forth, or for the Bluetooth music. And it tells you a lot of things there, like I said, the time, the battery, all that kind of good stuff gives you a lot of detailed reading right there. And you can also use it to adjust the range up here. Right there you can select between manual, auto, all that kind of stuff. has a lot of good features to it, very convenient. The unit also has little feet on the bottom that you can select to have them up or down. That way you can have a higher display right there, or you can fold them away completely and it goes a little bit further down. 
The unit has speakers on both sides, speakers on this side, speakers on that side. That way you can use the Bluetooth and for the call out as well. And on the back right here, like I said, that's where the batteries are. Just open up this lid and you can replace the 18650 batteries in there without any trouble at all. So that makes it very convenient right there. Also on the back here is where you have all your settings buttons. All these buttons right here, it is what you use to adjust the time and all the different features that it has. You use those buttons back there. So that's very cool right there. So let's do some readings with this guy and see how it performs. All right, guys. So let's do a little bit of testing with the unit and see how it performs on some simple little readings that we can all understand and so forth so you know exactly what's going on. I have the probes hooked up to the unit and I have them hooked up to a simple little switch right there. Simple on off switch, nothing fancy going on. And all we're going to do is test ohms, test resistance and see how it performs. And also I get to show you the audio, the broadcasting of the readings on this unit right now, very simply on how to do it. Now this unit can play music, but I'm not going to play music on it because of all the restrictions on YouTube as far as music content and stuff like that. I don't want to have any problems with that. But just take my word for it, you can play music through this through the Bluetooth on your phone or tablet. Either one, as long as it has a Bluetooth hookup, you can play music through this if you want to. So right now you see right there, the switch is on and you're getting your ohms resistance reading right there. And there's a little button right here on the black probe. And if you press that, 1.70 ohm. it tells you exactly what's going on. And the red dial over there, you can use it to raise or lower the volume however you want to have it whatever is convenient for you. So that gives you a higher or lower reading if you want to. Now, if I turn off the switch, there you go. It goes down to zero. So there you have that. And then over range, you see, that's what you get right there. So very simple. It shows you as far as resistance goes, how well that works. Turn it back on and it reads again. And we're back to where we were before. And you get whatever the reading happens to be. 3.15 ohm. There you go. So that's a very convenient feature right there. When you're doing a lot of different testing and so forth, all you do is click the little button and it tells you exactly what you're doing. And you can keep on moving instead of having to look back to the unit. All right, then. So let's do another test that's easy. Everyone can understand. Let's test some voltage. That's easy enough. This is right here going to be house current. You see that I have a power strip. It's plugged into the wall. It's turned off right now. I'm going to turn it on in a moment. But you see that I have the probes already inserted into it. I have it hooked up to the unit back here. And I wanted to mention first that the unit has a lot of buttons up here. That is how you select the different functions that you want to do. Some of the buttons have multiple functions, like right here, the voltage, which is what we're going to look at right now. You see that I have it on AC. But if you wanted to go to DC, all you do is press it again and you go to DC and you go back to AC right there. And you have a nice display right there. And then you have a bar graph at the bottom. And right now it's probably just uh, reading some static energy or something in there because the power is not on. So I'm going to turn it on right now and we're going to see exactly what this guy does. And then I'm going to press the button on this little guy right here so we can get the audio representation of it. So let's do that. And there you have right there, 120 volts, 0.8. And then if we press the button here. AC voltage, 120.74 volt. There you go. It said AC voltage, 120.7. There you go. AC voltage, 120.81 volt. There you go. Very nice. And turn that off and it goes back to zero. Just static energy right there. So that's very convenient. As you see right there, very good at testing voltage and it tells you exactly what you find. So you don't always have to be looking at the screen if you don't want to. Press the little button and you get the audio representation of what you're looking at. All right, guys, one of the cool things about this meter is that it has Bluetooth connectivity. And Zotec has several meters that have Bluetooth connectivity, not just this one. So you can have up to four different meters hooked up to this one app. And then all you do is go through and select the one you want to look at and it pulls it right up and you can see all sorts of information from that meter. And this is very convenient for all sorts of things like uh, working in a factory environment, a uh, commercial use, or even at home. Uh, for example, let's say you're working on a HVAC unit, uh, whether either at home or commercial purposes, either way, if you have to be far away from the compressor unit or any other unit that you're working on, you can hook up the meter somewhere and then remotely you can see what is going on based upon changes that you make to it. And you can change all sorts of things because you have commands on here as to you can change whatever the reading is remotely. You don't have to be there next to the meter to actually do it. So it saves a lot of walking back and forth. But you can see numerically, you can see up here everything that the meter is seeing. You see it up there. You also have a graph. You can save your data. You can pause the data. You can talk to other people through the app because several people can be hooked up at the same time. And you can help each other out, tell each other what's going on, etc. 
But the cool thing about this app is, like I said, remotely, you can tell the meter different things to do as to what uh, readings you want to take. For example, right now we're on volts. And uh, basically, if I wanted to change it, let's see, we're on volts right now. As you can see, I can go to millivolts and change it over right away without any trouble at all. Uh, let's say I wanted to read ohms. Uh, I just press the uh, ohms button right here, changes over to ohms, and I can see whatever it is that I want to see. And that's the way it is with a lot of different things. You can select different functions, and it'll change the reading for you based upon what you tell it to do remotely. So it's very convenient if you want to just test different factors, whatever's going on at the given location that you're testing. So very cool app right there. You don't have to use it. It's just another added feature of this unit. If you want to use it, fine. If you don't want to use it, that's also fine too. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. A professional level benchtop multimeter at a very affordable price. Now, let me say that this multimeter has a lot more features than what I am able to demonstrate in this video. I didn't want to get too technical and possibly scare away some folks that may not be very knowledgeable with multimeters. This is a very nice multimeter for someone starting out because it gives you room to grow and learn more. It is also a great multimeter for someone who has a lot of knowledge because it has a huge list of abilities as to what it can do. It can also work as a clock and alarm clock to keep you on track at your work so you know when there are certain schedules or appointments that you need to meet. It also has the ability to play music or any type of audio, really, like audiobooks or instructions manuals through the Bluetooth speakers. So it can be very helpful to help you in relaxing as you're working or to learn new skill sets. So whether you want to get this benchtop multimeter for yourself or give it as a gift to someone else, I think this is a great little device to add to your electronics testing tool set. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.